This is Crimson, our tribute from District 7, the Lumber District. Hello, Crimson. Hi. What do you think about your district partner, Zan? He's 13. Have you, you seen his abilities? I don't know. I haven't really been watching him, but he's tiny. <laughs> uh, that is very true. Do you have someone special who's going to be watching you in this game? Special? Like a boy? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> no. I can take care of myself. I don't need some guy bringing me down. I mean, especially now with these games, nobody's bringing me down. I got this myself. Wow. Looks like you're ready for this, aren't you? Bring it on. Well, thank you, Crimson. Welcome. Bye. We are here now with the District 7 boy, Zan. Welcome, Zan. What do you think of your district partner? I'm gonna hide from her. Really? As soon as she, as soon as I see she's dead, I'm gonna come out and kill her. Oh, <laughs> quite vicious there. What do you hope the terrain to be in the arena? I hope there's a lot of woods. Why would you want a lot of woods? So I can hide in the trees. Are you good at climbing? Nope. <laughs> How do you expect to hide in the trees? I don't know. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. I get a new question. <laughs> we welcome our tribute from District 8, Kyler. So, since you're from the District 8, the textile um, district, are you very skilled with your hands? Very skilled with my hands. I enjoy sewing things. I help my mother out and my brother sew together their belongings. Will you be able to use some of those skills in the arena, do you think? I'll sew my victims together and destroy them. <laughs> Well, that's quite imaginative. Do you have any family back home? Do you think, do they think that you can win? Yes, I have a, I have an older brother, and thankfully he's out of the games, along with a mom and dad, and I just want to make them proud this year. Well, that's quite heartwarming. Thank you very much, Tyler. Thank you. Our next interview will be with Alizar from District 9. Welcome, Alizar. Hello. So, my first question, what terrain would you like the arena to be? Well, since my district is green, fields and plains would be the best. I could figure out what I could eat. And if I had to hide, I suppose, depending on how long the fields and grain area could be, I could lay down in it. All right. So, what do you think of the other tributes this year? I don't know. Well, I'd say they're a good bunch, I guess. You know, like, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of hard to say right now. I understand. Well, thank you for the interview, Alzar. Goodbye. Now we welcome Ali from District 9. Hi. So, Ali, tell us about your family at home. Well, it's just my mother and my father and myself at home. And all three of us work out in the fields. My father, he typically runs the machinery because we work out in the grain fields. My mother is a harvester and I am following in her footsteps. I started harvesting at the age of 12. All right. What do you think about your mentor? Cora, she's fantastic. We have similar personalities and similar fighting styles, so she's been able to help me a lot with that. That's wonderful. Well, good luck. And thanks for talking. This is Maverick, the young lady from District 10. Um, what, what do you miss the most at home? Do you have a sweetheart? Mm -hmm. Anyone you've been thinking of lately? I would say the thing I miss most at home is my little brother. My parents are both in the livestock, in the butchering business, and my little brother, Carter, is 11. He's, he's all by himself while I'm here. And I don't want to leave them. So you most of them in charge of Right. And if I don't win, I have to win. If I don't win, who's going to watch him? I have to win. Do you need to go to the Yes. Well, what to bring do you think will give you the most advantage in the I'm hoping for something grassy. Um, something like back in District 10. 
That way I will be in my most comfort zone and it will put everyone else out of their comfort zone. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, sweet. Let's get it. Next, we will speak with Luco from District 10. Welcome, Luco. I know many people think you're a promising tribute. What do you think makes you a tribute capable of winning this year's games? Well, I, um, I am very talented at basically cutting anything that has meat, because I am a butcher, and I'm very talented with meat cleaver. Hopefully there's weapons like that at the Cornucopia. Well, we'll have to see. Say you do win the games, what do you plan on doing with your earnings? I would probably give most of my earnings to my family to help make the farm more prosperous and get more money. Will you plan on going back to help them? Yes. Alright, well thank you, Luco. Any day. Well, our next tribute for the interview here is Lene from District 11. Welcome, Lene. Hi. Your outfit is quite, quite beautiful. It's very nice to you. What do you think about it? Thank you. Um, I actually really like this outfit. My stylist, Maurice, is brilliant. Really? Really. I heard he had not quite as much of a good one last year. <laughs> well, he outdid himself this year. Looks very nice. Thank you. What would your normal day at home look like? Do you have any friends or significant boyfriend? I don't. I do have one really good friend though. His name is Keza, and we're really just friends. But when we were saying goodbye, he he told me he loved me, but I I always thought fourteen was too young to be in love. But I said I loved him too because I'll never be old enough to love him now. Well, maybe if you win the games, you'll be able to love him then. I hope so. Well, very nice. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We're here with Brom from District 11. Welcome, Brom. Thank you. So, based on the time you spent training with the other tributes, what chance do you think you have of winning? Well, the other tributes are definitely very skilled. Everyone, each individual in their own way. But I think I have a unique set of skills that will allow me to succeed and win the Hunger Games. What skills would those be? I'm very quick, strong, and I've been working in the fields for my whole life, so that's allowed me to have incredible endurance. Quite an advantage there. Do you have family at home? I do. I live with my mother and my two younger brothers. My father died when I was eight. He was run over by a combine. So I've had to uh, provide for my family from the time that I was a young boy. Did you get a chance to say goodbye to them before you left? No. Is there anything you would like to say to them now? Well, I'd like to say that I'm gonna miss. <coughs> Sorry. I'd like to say that I'm gonna miss them, but you know I can't let anything hinder my thoughts from just winning the Hunger Games and winning it for me. And going back to them. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Brom. Thank you. We're glad to have Benton here from District 12. Welcome, Benton. Hi. So, what would your normal day look like at home? What's it like when working in the mines? Well, actually, I don't work in the mines because you need to be 18 there, and I'm only 15. So, to make a little money for the future, my parents own the pharmaceutical shop, like with herbs and stuff, so they give me a few side jobs trading with them. I see. Are there any other tributes that you think would be a good match for your skills? Yeah, it's that one guy, what's his name, Brom? I think he's from like 11 or something. I, I don't pay attention that much, but. So you think that he'll be a formidable opponent? Yeah, he's like big and strong looking. All right, well, thank you, Ben. Welcome. Now we have Millie from District 12. Hi, Millie. So, how do you think you're going to fare in the up-and-coming Hunger Games? Well, I'm pretty used to fighting for food and things with 20 other kids. And why is that? I live in an orphanage. Oh, an orphanage! And how's that every day? 
Well, when I'm not trying to keep control of the other kids that are like crazy, I'm usually, I, I find time to study my mineral, I, I, I study minerals and tools for mining or when I work in the coal mine when I'm old. Oh, that's interesting. Well, thank you, Millie.